Swords. It's your boy Kabari Tech Media, aka Caleb here. And guys, we're doing another catch and cook. It's been a while since I did one of these on my YouTube channel, but uh, the other day, get down, you freaking rat. Sorry, guys. It's my cat. She loves fish. But, um, anyways, guys, me and my girlfriend, we went out on a trip the other day, and I call it a nice little flounder. Not too big, it's probably about 13 inches, but um, I decided to do a little catch and cook for you guys because it wasn't the most exciting fishing trip, but uh, you know, we caught one flounder, missed a lot of good fish, and uh, so yeah, didn't want to leave you guys hanging on the content, so I'm going to do a little cooking today, or tonight I should say, and uh, we got our flounder fillets right here. I butchered one, so we only got three, but nice little flounder fillets right here. We got three of them. And what we are going to be cooking today, guys, is we are going to be doing a panko parmesan crusted flounder uh, baked in the oven. Uh, I tried this with the other flounder that I caught uh, the other day, and it was, oh my gosh, it was so good, and it's so easy. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. I have the oven uh, preheated to 400 degrees, and I'm melting some butter right now. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to brush some butter on top of this flounder first and foremost. I'm going to set it on the cookie sheet and then I'm going to leave a little bit of that butter inside of the bowl. Put some panko breadcrumbs in there and put some parmesan in there. Mix it all together and lay that on top of each filet. And what that's going to do is that's going to bake and get really, really crispy inside of the oven. And it's going to be absolutely amazing guys. So y'all stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, be sure to subscribe, and let's get this cooking show started, guys. Uh oh. Oh my god. I just got a really good bite, babe. Uh oh, he's on. He's on. I'm letting I'm letting him take it. Is he still there? Come cast over here, babe. Gosh, guys, I just missed a good fish. I just missed a good fish. Gosh! That was a good one right there. I, I'm telling you, I had a really good bite. That was not a catfish, like it was running. So just get ready. Oh, I see that. There you go. Oh my God, Taylor's got a good one. Tighten up your drag, turn it right towards your hat. Turn it right, no, other way. There you go, keep on. All right, not too tight, real. There you go. Get him in, baby, that could be a big trout. It could be a big trout. Oh. What happened? Is it too tight? No. It did. It's all right. Just we'll get another bait out. Dang it! All right, guys. This is a nice little spot right here. Taylor has missed one. <clears throat> well, Taylor actually had the fish on. I didn't. I never. I never had the fish on mine, but I had a really solid bite. <clears throat> Taylor just had a really good fish on. I missed one earlier, right before her. So there's definitely fish here. Seriously? Oh no, that looked like a really good fish. Yeah. It just, it bit exactly like a bull, or not a, not necessarily a bull red, but it bit just like a red fish. It just kind of sucked it in. Ooh, bite. Come on, take it. There we go. Guys, come on. Take it. Uh oh. Got him. Oh, sh. There we go. Got him. This feels like a catfish. Oh my god, it is. But I had a, a LY on. That could have been it. Dang it. All right, guys, first fish for me is this freaking hard head catfish. Hey, at least I caught something, though. I got the skunk out of the boat. Flounder! 
Oh my God. Guys, check, check it out, check it out. Flounder, flounder, flounder. Oh my gosh, my GoPro wasn't even on. There we go. Oh my God. Flounder, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Whoa. On the live LY, folks. I was literally just casting out. I didn't even have my GoPro on because it's, it's kind of starting to get low on battery. And I had one thump and I let it sit and I started reeling up and my line felt like it was, you know, it had just some weight on it. So I set the hook and sure enough, folks, check it out. That is a nice flounder right there. Beautiful Pensacola Bay flounder. And he is for sure 12. Guys, that is awesome. First fish of the day, well, first legal fish of the day for us is a beautiful Pensacola Bay flounder, guys. And he is, let's see, here's his tail right there. Oh yeah, he's right around 13, around 13 inches, folks. Let's get him off the hook and let's get our bait back out there. What do you say? First and foremost, we've already sprayed it with some uh, pan. And now, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're just gonna put some butter on each filet, give it that rich taste. All right, guys, so once that is done, I have a little bit of butter left over. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some panko breadcrumbs, as you guys can see. We're gonna pour a little bit of those in there. And then we're gonna get a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is actually Parmesan and Romano cheese. And we're gonna add a little bit in there. And then we're simply just gonna mix it up. And guys, let me tell y'all, this is so amazing. Tried this for the first time, like I said, on that last flounder that I caught and it turned out really good. So I thought in this episode, I was gonna show you guys how to prepare this and show y'all how easy it is. All right, so as you guys can see there, we have our uh, our topping if you want to call it that and it should look a little bit like this guys and what we're going to do now is we're just going to place this on top of each filet and pat it down and that's going to get nice and crispy on the top and that's going to add a little bit of texture to our flounder filets this is really key right here adding butter to it because what that does is it makes it get that golden crispy uh, texture and it, not only that, but the butter just makes it all the more delicious. I don't even know if all the more is even correct vocabulary, but oh well. It's a dang fishing show, guys. We're not teaching the English class. All right, guys, there you have it. Each flounder filet is breaded. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna place these in the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. Me, I'm probably gonna leave it in there for about, probably around 13, uh, and then just kind of keep an eye on it. If it needs to go longer, I'll put it in there longer. But let's go ahead and put these puppies in the oven and look at how good those things look so far. If y'all have never tried this, guys, I highly recommend it. It is so tasty. All right, folks, it's been about 13 minutes. Our flounder looks done. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven. And oh yeah, that looks perfect, guys. Check this out. It's just now starting to turn brown on top, just the way you want it. And that right there is oven-baked panko parmesan flounder. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the stove top. Gonna put our oven 
knit back up. And we're going to go ahead and get these puppies on the plate and give it a try. Oh my gosh, guys, those things are so tender. I don't think the fork is going to be a good idea. Let me get the spatula. Alright, we got Uno, Dos, and Trace. These things look like chicken nuggets, but they're a thousand times better, guys, I promise you. And that right there is fresh oven baked flounder with the Parmesan and panko breading on top. All right guys, we're fixing to do a taste test. This thing was swimming two days ago, so it is super fresh. But all right, with all further ado, let's dig in. Let's see how it turned out. I'm gonna start off with the end piece. Oh yeah, cheers folks. Hot. Yeah, I got a bread crumb down my butt. <coughs> Not the way I wanted to start that. Whew. Let's try that again. <coughs> Alright guys, take two. We're not going to edit that out. We're, we're, we're going to leave that in. Cheers. so freaking good it's so rich and flounder is so flaky so it's just like a it literally like melts in your mouth guys it's so good oh my gosh and the butter mixed with that with that with that topping makes it just 10 times better <clears throat> all around super simple recipe to make guys i highly recommend y'all do this with any flounder that y'all catch but the next flounder that i do catch i plan on stuffing it um, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos online of how to stuff a flounder, so I really plan on doing that. But for this, it's, it's so much easier, and it turns out really good, guys. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish this in probably like three minutes, and uh, probably get to editing this video. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next YouTube video. Peace out, dudes.